What's whacking guys? Welcome to episode 14 of my Real Sociedad career mode. Definitely going to be a very interesting episode here. Uh, as we're going to have the final three matches of the season. It's the season finale. We're going to have a, a wrap up. And of course, it's going to be a fight for that last Champions League spot. Of course, maybe a minute chance at pushing a uh, over Madrid, but it's going to be tough, of course, with this matchup, but uh, we definitely want to try to, you know, get away for the point here. It would be great against Barcelona here to start this episode out, but you'll see Bruma cutting the ball back here to Bergara. Cut the ball back out wide to Bizarro. He's going to find Veloz in space, shoot in turn, but right at Ter Stegen. Good save from him, a good positioning, but uh, showing some good promise. We see Inigo Martinez, a big touch. They're going to lose the ball. Look at Messi on goal. He's going to take the shot, and he's going to hit the post. It rattle off of both posts, essentially. So we get away with one right there, of course. Not the best from Inigo Martinez in that instance, but you see some great work from Bruma. Winning the ball. He's going to play the ball back out wide for Canales. Cut the ball back to his right foot. We'll see what he does with it. He's going to send this cross into Mitrovic. It's going to hit off of the crossbar. So close from the big Serb there. Great job from him, from the Serbian striker. Uh, so hopefully we can try to grab a goal. We're looking very good. You see Canales here. Cut it back to his right foot. The ball's going to fall all the way to Mitrovic. It's going to turn and hit that wide with his left foot. So close, honestly. I was not thinking that would fall all the way through. I thought I was going to go to Bruma. And unfortunately, I just was not prepared for that shot, essentially. But uh, either way, they're going to come back here. Great possession from Barcelona. End of the first half, essentially. And look at that. Busquets with some space with a good finish there unfortunately that was so close to being able to at least hold on to the end of the half to this lead but unfortunately Barcelona uh, had other plans there so we're gonna have to try to bounce back and grab the goal which I think we can do you know we've been looking very strong in this matchup with this despite this pretty attacking formation see Bruma's gonna be played over top a great ball he's gonna be through on goal here with some space and just gonna hit that right at Ter Stegen needed to put that in the side netting on the other side unfortunately but I uh, could not do so a big ball over the top trying to use some pace of course here with Sisto he's gonna cut the ball back to Vela but great defending from BK right there of course getting in front of that shot could not do too much about it maybe could have tried to cut back in again but again pushing numbers up we have a lot of numbers but this play I have to say was not quick enough here um, should have made another pass earlier playing out wide probably should have cut back in the middle also we cut back to Mitrovic however and he's just gonna tamely hit that it's gonna be um, hit out for a corner so we still may have a chance here on this corner kick to tie things up Vela is gonna swing this one in with his left foot look at that our keeper really gets his foot on that it's gonna fall to De Bella, and look at that tamely hit again so close we could sh probably could have you know honestly tied this one I would say a draw would have been very fair uh, result but unfortunately we could not do so here so that is disappointing we have to see how things go in the league now uh, of course, you'll see uh, it's going to be very interesting. This finals two games uh, with Valencia is going to be so close here. We cannot drop points. We cannot lose a game, in my opinion, as you'll see here in the table. Valencia is still behind us, of course. Um, definitely be very interesting end of the season. Uh, we, I just need to win in the champ, get in the Champions League spot. Honestly, in the Champions League playoff spot would be great. But uh, you'll see here again playing this 4-3-3. This time I have Parlo in the middle, actually, and Bergara and Alustondo. But so uh, definitely gonna be very interesting how we do here. Uh, Granada has some very good players in the game, to say the least. But uh, they are, of course, in the relegation spot. They're gonna be relegated, unfortunately. But uh, let's see how we deal with them. They did beat us uh, early in the season at their home. At their home. But uh, Fouquet, of course, very good right back. Look out for him as well as El Rabin. Eddie is very tricky as well at center attacking mid spots. But uh, you see Bangura with some space here. He's going to cut the ball back and just evading defenders like nothing. Play the ball back here to uh, El Arabi. Just going to hit that wide. A very good uh, build-up play from them. But unfortunately, they cannot uh, grab the goal in their case. But uh, you'll see uh, with some space here, uh, Bruma cutting back in. He's going to find a great run from Canales. He's going to put that into the side netting. Canales has been a tremendous player for, for us. I have to say, uh, I've been told maybe I should look at Isco and some other players in the like, uh, you know, the next season. But uh, I think we're great uh at the center attacking mid spot for now maybe strengthen the midfield if we can especially center defense and midfield because I think this fourth or three is what I'm going to go with for now on with a holding midfielder Canal is pushing up he's listed as a center attacking mid in the in this formation and one box to box central midfielder I will just see it's going to be part of Granero in that box to box spot probably next season so it'd be very interesting this is our formation for next season I will confirm guys but uh so we'll see how things turn out that we have to worry about this season first uh trying to finish that champion league spot a great uh chance here just again um just very poor defending uh, defending so deep is so frustrating. This happens all the time. You're not going to defend in your own six-yard box, basically. Um, but uh, either way, 
they do score a goal for Enrico. He's a pretty quality midfielder in the game, of course. Uh, you see this ball put in right here, trying to come back in on the counterattack. Vela's going to put the ball back out here to Pizarro. And look at him just storming down the wing. He is honestly a high recommendation at right back if you can get him. He's an absolute beast of an attacking fullback, attacking right back. You see Petrovic with some space going to cut the ball back. Uh, does get depossessed actually ball played back to Parlo who's going to finish that so both our midfielders did tremendous job pushing forward Parlo and Granero are de as I said are going to be competition for that starting midfield spot next season so we'll see who wins that um, then of course I'm probably going to be looking for a holding midfielder so defensive midfielder uh, but you will see how things go there Parlo with a big goal here to put us ahead 2-1 uh, we needed that goal definitely but again Granado is going to try to push forward good job defensively at first but uh, you'll see Adarabi just evading defenders and look at this nearly goes in the back of the net it's a bit of a kind of a swing and hope <laughs> swing and pray type of shot essentially but you'll see this ball is going to be put back in here Nigo Martinez ball is going to fall back to Yuri who's going to have a go at it and look at this weird goal very strange here all the deflections the own goal of course, that was a good shot originally from Yuri, and then Kanaz actually had a good go at it, but so you'll see it's going to deflect off of a couple players and go in the back of the net. Own goal from Ruben Rochina there, uh, but definitely hope to... Um uh, this is kind of the game winner right here. It's going to put the game away, essentially, the game clincher, and that's great to have. Unfortunately, they do lose in that fashion, but uh, we did play fairly well against a team that's given us some problems in the past, as you'll see here, of course. Uh, definitely want to continue on. We have one game left, of course, against Rayo Vallecano, but you'll see here a good job in this matchup. Uh, we did create a few chances, but, of course, their defense was pretty strong. They created a, a lot of chances themselves, I have to say. So uh, hats off to them, of course, despite the fact they'll be getting relegated. But we're going to finish this episode uh, off in the match area of it <laughs> with a final matchup against Rado Vallecano. Definitely uh, a tough side, but we'll see what we can do. They did cause some problems again as well. So uh, we'll see here. Uh, in great spots here again, but uh, we just got to win this matchup or a tie would be great But uh, either way they do have some quality players up there to look out for Baptista up top uh, de pro Definitely a quality player, but you'll see here uh, Definitely I like turtles I don't know what I'm saying, but either way, I don't know why I put that little cut scene in there. But uh, you'll see 4-3-3 again. Canales at center attacking mid. Parlo, Vela, Mitrovic, Bruma, Bergara, Ansotegi. Uh, he's leaving, unfortunately, to Espanol. But uh, we'll see. We'll have to replace him. We need some depth at center back and maybe a stronger center back because Mikel Gonzalez is getting up there in age and starting to uh, lose his, some of his physical stats and the like. But you see some good job defensively here. Parlo with some space. He's going to play the ball back out wide to Carlos Velo. Carlos Vela, excuse me, and he's going to have a good uh, run down the wing. Play the ball to Mitra. It's going to be free in the box. What a header. What a run from Carlos Vela there. Uh, great job to grab an uh, early goal there from Carlos Vela. Of course, this need more of that from him. He's uh, been a bit off and on throughout the season, of course. He's grabbed quite a few goals, but I think we need a lot more from him if we want to you know, win uh, La Liga, you, you want to do well in Champions League and the like, but we'll see here. Good ball to Mitrovic. It's going to have a bit of space. Uh, does get depossessed, but uh, looks like just, he does get taken down, unfortunately, and it looks like it may be a big injury, so we'll see how things go. He's holding his knee or ankle, it looks like there, uh, so we're going to have to make some changes. I'm going to uh, just push Vela up the striker, because I'm just not a big fan of Fimbo Gasson. I have to say he's going to be put on the transfer list uh, soon. Uh, he does have potential, but he just does not fit with our fourth through. He's not been very good uh, at all, unfortunately. Uh, so we'll have to move on from him, see if we can find a good replacement next season. We'll see. Um, good job from Lozano who came on, actually. He's just recovered from his injury finally after, you know, before he was injured, he was doing tremendous. But a great job drawing a penalty there, trying to bring us up 2-0. But again, uh, happy to have Lozano back in the mix. He's definitely going to be big for us next season with all the matches. Hope him and Sisto can you know come up big with that because they'll be playing quite a few matches with the match congestion and the like, you know, trying to move on in Champions League. Uh, if we, assuming we do win the playoff, if we do get a good draw there, but Zavella will come up and take this here. So we'll see how he does. Stepping up, taking the penalty. I've not been good at penalties lately, I have to say, but uh, either way, he's going to strike it. Just goes with a bit of power there, and we are going to go up two 0 
great goal from Carlos Vela, of course. Definitely deserved it after the way he set up that first goal. And we do win this matchup here, so we will be in the Champions League playoff. So we'll see who we draw, of course, next season. It's going to be very interesting because uh, we could either get a very nice draw or it could be a very tough side. We'll have to be have to play. But again, running out the episode, we're going to be taking a look at the table first. We're in a great, did finish nice there. If we would have, you know, just done a little bit better throughout the season, we could have been third, which I've been guaranteed, I believe. Um, but uh, either way, we're at the move on, try to improve points wise. We want to, you know, get closer to Madrid and uh, Barcelona there. Of course, there's a big gap between Madrid and Barcelona in essence, as well as the uh, two Champions League teams behind them. Look at this. Mitre is going to be out for three months, but uh, I think he'll be back in time for the season, essentially, uh, for at least, you know, the first or second game, for the second game, I would say for sure. But uh, it's three months, and we're, this was about the 24th, uh, so I think that would put him at, you know, one of the one of the Champions League playoffs, essentially, maybe. But uh, you'll see here, Mitrovic with 15 goals, tied with Mandzukic and Neymar. Of Ronaldo and Giovanni Dos Santos, of course, has made the move to LA Galaxy, but still tremendous in the game. Uh, be, I am actually thinking of going with uh, uh, MLS career mode next season, I have to say. Uh, but you see Ve Vela with 11 goals as well in the double-digit mark. But uh, leading in assists are Bale, Modric, Shershev. We do not have two new players up there. It's just Mitrovic, of course. That's a very good campaign there. 15 goals, 6 assists. At exactly what I want from my target man, of course, in this formation. The striker is very essential to the formation, you know, helping up with build-up play and the like. So definitely great to see him, uh, you know, and solid positions in both the goal and assist uh, spots. You see, Ruli had a very nice uh, season with nine clean sheets, but of course, Casillas, Casilla, and Ochoa leading in those aspects there. So we'll see how things go. Now, take a look at some of the uh, our leaders and stats and the like. So goals, Mitrovic, Vela, Canales, Bruma. Great from Bruma, of course, coming on late, but we do uh, need to probably grab some more goals, honestly. We need a, some bigger attacking threats, maybe, but uh, we honestly probably do not have the money for that yet. But uh, So we're going to have to ask, you know, Bruma to step up, Sisto to step up, Lozano. Actually, a very good season for Lozano, I have to say, for not too many appearances. Of course, the injuries really hurt him, and he started to come around, unfortunately, right before the injury, which is sad to see. But you see assists now. Mitrovic, Canales uh, leading, and, of course, Vela right there. So it's Bruma, a lot of assists uh, for a short time. Of course, Renato was out for three months. And um, Dedabella has a fair amount as well. So we'll take a look at some of our player growth now. Of course, Ruli was tremendous. Pizarro, again, he's a high recommendation at right back guys you definitely want to take a look at him as you can see with his crossing and the sprint speed and like just some great technical attributes and so Tegi is fortunately going to be leaving to Espanol as I said before going down in stats so we're going to look for some new center a new center back Yudri is going up because him and Delebe have been kind of you know going back and for Bergara going up Parlo going up a bit better and uh so we just want to keep on pushing on you know throughout this I do think center back and center defense mid are going to be the big priority honestly in the next season so we're going to go there and we might only be able to uh, you know improve those spots first we see Canales big growth there from him Vela is homesick but uh, I think that'll be sorted away he just always does this all the time but uh, we'll see how things go don't want to lose him of course see Mitrovic up there to 78 his finishing is great heading accuracy volleys great attack position of course his strength just that perfect target perfect lone striker in a 4-3-3 great to have him towards Bruma with some significant growth. Ball cultural dribbling, uh, short passing, shot power. Xavi Preto, of course, is going down. Unfortunately, Lozano, unfortunately, due to his injury, has gone down as well. Very sad to see, but uh, he's still a quality left mid. We may need to improve eventually, you know, with our backups at left mid, right mid. But see, still not grow much. Finbo Gasson, again, is going to be put on the transfer list, as you'll see here. Uh, he only recently arrived, but I think we, we just can't improve in his spots and maybe fight, find a cheaper option that's just as good, if not better, than him. El Estondo, good utility player, has uh, done well. De La Bella is still improving, uh, despite being a bit of an older left back. Kovalenko, he was tremendous when he was healthy. Of course, up to a 73 now. Great to see that type of growth. El Estondo, uh, other El Estondo could play right back, center back. Zadua, a solid uh, backup right back. Very good in the attack. Uh, then, of course, some other other players on our side who uh, of course Granero went up a bit uh, unfortunately he's not been playing that well and was injured had a lot of injury problems unfortunately Mikel Gonzalez I'm looking to upgrade over him but Raul Navas looks like a very good, decent backup center back who probably will do well for us you know uh, throughout the rigors of the next season a lot of these guys that are actually loaned out will be gone to their contracts expiring I think uh, Pablo Ervias is actually on a two-year loan uh, I'm not sure uh, I can't remember but either way 
some of these other guys, of course, I thought Castro, a decent backup. You probably may get a couple of goes, uh, depending on if we can find another backup center man. So, of course, uh, he's going to stay, thankfully, Carlos Vela. I did not want to lose him. That would have been absolutely detri detrimental to our side to lose him. He's a key figure, of course. We still want him to step up a little bit more. He needs to be a bit more consistent and improve in all facets, as you can see. Putting an end to this season uh, one of this series, of course. Been a very fun season. I'm starting, I was honestly almost thinking about ending this but I've been really enjoying it lately despite the fact it doesn't have as much uh, support as my FCU track career but either way I'll keep it going unless people say otherwise once a different career road or anything uh, like that would rather see us put an end put to an end. But either way, it was a great season, guys. Great end of season one. Definitely we'll actually have season two up fairly shortly. I'm thinking either Sunday or Monday. We'll see how things go, guys. Uh, so with that, I'll be rounding out this episode, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for uh, supporting this series. I'll be signing out now, and I'll catch you guys later.